So in this question, it's given that x cube plus y cube plus z cube equals to one. Now under this condition, we have to prove that this is equals to one. This is what we have to prove it. So here I'm going to begin. I'm going to solve it. So I'm taking left hand side a. The base here are same, and it is being divided. If the same base are being divided, then how we can solve is that you can consider this minus y. It's like a power x divided by a power minus y. So this can be written as a power x minus minus y. So it comes to be a with the power x. A power x divided by a power minus y can be written as a power x plus y. The rest of them will be same. So on the same way, a power y all divided by a power z can be written as a power y. So minus will change its sign and it becomes to be cross here. This way. Similarly, a power z minus x can be written as cross x because it is being divided. So we can write it this way. Now after this, we can multiply the power inside with the power outside. We can write it this way. Now again, it's y plus a. It multiplies to y square minus yz plus z square. Now, in the same manner, z plus x multiplies to z square minus zx plus x square. Now, if you observe carefully, this looks like a formula. a plus b, a square minus a plus b square. It is structured in that way. So, if a, if it is look, it looks like a formula. You can simply use the formula. It is the formula of a cube plus b cube. Here we are going to use write here x cube plus y cube because it is like a plus b. A here is x, b here is y, a plus b, a square minus a b plus b square. So in the same way, y plus z, y square minus y z plus z square can be written as y cube plus z cube. Again, the third one, this one, z plus x, z square minus z x plus x square can also be written as z cube plus x cube. Now since all the bases are same, and that being multiplied, we can add their exponent. We can add their powers. So it is, it can be written as x cube plus y cube plus y cube plus z cube plus z cube plus x cube. So which will be like a would be a z itself. X cube plus x cube give us two x cube. The y cube plus y cube give us two y cube, and then z cube plus z cube also give us two z cube. Now here in our power we can take two common. So it can be written as x cube plus y cube plus z cube now. Now question has told us that x cube plus y cube plus z cube here is 1. So this can be written as x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be equals to 1. So it will be a square. So it was told to be 1 as a square. So the, our answer is proven thus.